Hi, hello, and welcome back to Marco in a Box. I'm Marco. I'm Alan. I'm Italian. And I'm Irish. And together we bring you videos about what it's like to be in an international relationship, intercultural understanding. And we talk about a lot of Italian food, culture, and language. So a while back we made a video titled uh, Italian words you've been getting wrong. Ravioli. No! <laughs> Ravioli. Ravioli. It's an open O. Ravioli. Oh. Ravioli. And we wanted to continue on that trend. We're wearing the same t-shirt. Still fit. You need to find the, the differences with that video. Today we want to cover a few Italian brands you've been getting wrong, or actually you've been mispronouncing your entire life. Very iconic Italian brands will shape the history of the world. <laughs> shape the history of the world. <laughs> and fashion and food. Fashion and food, that's Italy. What else? Fashion, fashion food. Of course. And Alan, who's the anglophone in the relationship, is gonna tell you how these words are usually pronounced by English speakers. I will be giving you the authentic Italian pronunciation, okay? Okay, so then you can show off to your friends when you pronounce them the right way. We start in the world of high fashion. I think I've been getting these wrong a lot. Versace. This is the most commonly mispronounced fashion brand uh, from Italy. It's actually Versace because it ends with an E. We covered this before. Final E is pronounced E. Versace. E. Dolce and Gabbana. But I don't think Dolce and Gabbana is, that, is mispronounced much. I just mispronounced it. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Dolce e Gabbana. Dolce e Gabbana. 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 Dolce and Gabbana. This one is easy and I don't know how this could be wrong, but Gucci. I think a lot of Americans say Gucci. Gucci, 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 go. It's a Gucci. 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 So it's a hard ch. Yeah, it's a ch. Gucci, Gucci. Machino? Oh, Jesus, okay. Seriously, is that how you... Well, yeah. I've never heard of this one before. C-H is... K. 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 So it's Moschino. 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 Bulgari. It's actually Bulgari. 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 This is interesting because the brand is actually spelled with a V, the way Romans used to spell the U. Bulgari. Giorgio Armani. Giorgio. Giorgio. Armani. Giorgio Armani. It's Giorgio. Giorgio. Armani. 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 You gotta hit that Armani. <laughs> and the Giorgio. Giorgio. Giorgio? No, Giorgio. 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 Giorgio Armani. <laughs> Okay, Here we got it then. Roberto Cavalli. Roberto. 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 Cavalli. Cavalli. Cavalli means horses. <laughs> Salvatore Ferragamo. Wow, that was actually not too bad. Really? Salvatore. Salvatore. Ferragamo. Ferragamo. Oh. So now we're moving into the automobile industry. And there are more Italian ones than you would think. Mm -hmm. Ferrari. Ferrari is like double R, so Ferrari. Ferrari. It's almost like the sound of the engine kicking in. Ferrari, Ferrari. Ferrari. Rum. Ferrari. 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 Fiat. Fiat, yes. So that's pretty straightforward. So Fiat is an acronym for Fabrica Italiana Automobili Torino. But here they use that acronym to make fun of us. Fix it again tomorrow. Fix it again tomorrow, fix it again Tony. Tony is the most common Italian-American name. Italian cars are just like Italians, like very beautiful on the inside, but they require a lot of maintenance. I have no comment. <laughs> Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo, uh, which is also a sub-brand of Fiat. Alfa Romeo. Romeo. Pirelli. 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 The famous manufacturer of tires? So much. Yes, <laughs> tires. Why much? Because you're like, the famous manufacturer of... I do care a lot about tires and motors. <laughs> this one is probably easy to get right. Maserati. 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 Right? Maserati. No, Maserati. No, Maserati. 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 Mm -hmm. Lamborghini? Mm -hmm. There's no trying in Italian, so it would be Lamborghini. 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 Piaggio. Piaggio. So Piaggio is the manufacturer of Vespa. Piaggio. 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 Ti Piaggio? So Piaggio is the brand. Piaccio it means I am likable. So Ti Piaccio, do you like me? Mm-hmm. Mi piace. Mi piace. Mi piace. <laughs> now, foods. Very, very important. 
Don't get these wrong. Barilla? Barilla. Barilla. This is the most popular pasta brand available worldwide, and it's Barilla. Barilla, not Barilla. Pasta Barilla! The next one is easy if you know your Italian seas, but not if you don't. So, De Checo? <laughs> no, so that is De Checo. De Checo. Not Checo. Bertoli? Bertoli. Bertoli. This is a very popular brand in the US. It's Bertoli. 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 That is satisfying. My Ferrari to get some Bertoli. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lavazza, my very favorite coffee. Lavazza, are you serious? Okay, no, our most popular Italian coffee brand is Lavazza. 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 Bevo un caffè Lavazza. San Pellegrino. This is our most popular sparkling water. It is very fancy abroad. It's actually, it's basically tap water in Italy. Like you find it everywhere. It's really cheap, but in the US, it's it not eight dollars. It's really expensive. Like they really have a markup on this brand. It's a very beautiful bottle. But we pronounce it San Pellegrino. San Pellegrino. Pellegrino. Another fancy water, Aquapana. 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 This is one of our most popular still water brands, and it's called Aqua, which means water. Panna. Yeah, panna means cream. So it's creamy water? No, that's, that's actually disgusting. Everybody should know this one. It's easy. Campari. 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 It's Campari. Campari. It's Campari. Why did you always do this? I don't know so I don't know why. Campari. Ferrero. Ferrero. Very, very famous here as well. Nutella. Nutella brand. We pronounce it Ferrero. Again, it's like Ferrari. Ferrero, Nutella, Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher. Woof. <laughs> Peroni. Very popular beer. Peroni. 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 La birra Peroni. Peroni. No, Peroni. 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 Si. Peroni. Peroni. Bravo. Galvani. Galvani. Calvani. So it's just saying it, but more. Saying it better. <laughs> okay. For football fans, Juventus. Not Juventus. I thought you were gonna get that wrong, but yes, Juventus. Juventus. Which means youth. Ah! Yeah, Juventus. And it's sometimes a shortening with like Juve. I'm a Juve fan. I'm not, but like. I'm. What? Team, do you support? Oh, I love all soccer, like all of them. <laughs> all the all, soccer. All of them. How many team members of the soccer team? I have shot player. Football or soccer is calcio. Calcio. When you kick with your foot, <laughs> that's a calcio. When you kick someone. De Longhi. This is one of our electronic brands, uh, quite popular abroad as well, and it's De Longhi. De Longhi. De Longhi. Gi. Gi. What was the Italian? What's the, the washing machine maker? The jacuzzi? No. Jacuzzi. The Z Zanussi. Zanussi? Zanussi? Is that a term? Zanussi. Okay. Zanussi. Oh yeah, I think my... Just add... <laughs> Zanussi. Okay, so Zanussi is actually Zanussi. 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 Hearing my knowledge of Italian electronics. Okay, so these were only some of the few contributions of Italian industry <laughs> to the world. Beautiful cars and motorcycles and soccer teams and food and drinks. And you're so, taking all the credit for this. <laughs> so please at least pronounce them correctly. Thank you very much. Italy will thank you too. So next time you see one of these names, you can show off to your friends by pronouncing it in the Italian way. And if you want to find out more it's about it... It's not the Italian way, it's the only way. It's the right way, right? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to receive notifications for upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video on Marketing Box with Alan. In Alan.